in this episode. Big old piece of styrofoam. Oh, ugh, ugh, smells like crab. <laughs> Give a hoot, don't pollute. This big old chunk of styrofoam on the other side of the creek. Gonna have to get that on my way back. Out here on the Santa Rosa Creek, going for a leisurely bike ride and exploring for trash on a trash safari. This time of the year, the brush is growing in thick. It's it hard to find these paths to the creek. You have to use the wildlife trails. Here's a good wildlife trail. It's kind of tamped down a little bit. There's the creek. Gloves and a good sack are all you need for a environmental cleanup. Picker is optional. Parked my bike off trail so I don't have to worry about that getting poached. Let's get down to it. Right off the bat, some kind of candy wrapper. Nerds. Another piece of plastic. Find a lot of these. It's little fast food containers for sauces and salsas. I don't know what this is. A oh, garbage bag. Nope. Single use liquor store bag. So I just found this single use liquor store bag. I got my grain sack. But just for the heck of it, I'm gonna use this to collect my trash in. You can show up to these environmental cleanups without any gear and still make an impact. Just gotta use what you find. Plastic water bottle all ran over from the streets. It's washed in through the storm drain system. It's beat up. Torn off wrapper corner. And another one. This little washed up debris pile's got some plastics. Ziploc baggie. Oh, here's a lid to a fast food cup and it's super duper brittle. Seeing it break up into a ton of pieces just over the summer, just from sitting in the sun. Oh, here's another fast food drink lid. Very, very brittle. These things just break up into microplastics very easily. One season in the sun, that's all it takes. Squint your eyes and look for the shiny plastics and you will see them. The water bottle over here on this bank. While I'm squatted down in here getting that water bottle, gotta look around. And of course there's more to be found. This is like a piece of plastic rubber. And it's, it's like a part of a shopping cart. 
in the tree on the other side of the creek I see a laundry basket or a shopping basket gotta go get it Shopping basket. Now I have my shopping basket. It's time to go shopping. Again, at first glance, looks pretty darn nice over here. Till you dig in, it's where the grocery basket was. Looks like there's a coffee cup here ah uh, just the lid torn off piece of plastic another fast food cup lid really popular find today this little spot looks kind of rough to pass through but I'm still not done shopping on this side of the creek yet Oh, on my way through on this piece of plastic. Just sitting there. Almost immediately. Plastic water bottle. Styrofoam, Capri Sun pouch, nailed it. Oh boy, this is a pretty big section. There's a lot of debris in here and trash. I didn't bring a sack with me. I only got this shopping basket. Got a lot of plastic bottles, lighters, and balls. Styrofoam up in here. Back in there. This spot has a lot of like-minded trash in it. A lot of plastic bottles ended up here. Fireballs, water bottles, vodka bottles. This just happened to mix in with the bottles. I don't know what it is, a lid to something. Filling my shopping basket. Today's cleanup review all these plastics out of here it's nothing significant but none of this should be in here this place is beautiful shouldn't have litter strewn all over the place cleaning nature definitely has its rewards you can clean the place up take a few minutes to enjoy the peacefulness I'd rather be cleaning nature than organizing my dresser. That's a fact. Ask my wife.
Good riddance. When I was heading out to my cleanup this morning, I was on the other side of the creek taking the trail down. It's a dirt trail on that side. It's paved on this side. So I was on the dirt trail side, eyeballing the creek, like my drop zone video, and I saw this huge chunk of styrofoam. And I cannot ignore it. This thing's giant. It's down there in the water. Just gotta figure out how to get to it. I think this might be the path. Looks pretty steep. Some poison oak, vines, rocks. Gotta really watch the footing. Can't see. Oh Lord, look how big that is. Just super light, big old piece of styrofoam. Oh, ugh, ugh, smells like crab. Ugh. Some smells I can't deal with. Well, it wasn't crab in here, but true north salmon. Boy, this thing off gassed quite the smell when I popped that lid. Whew. Good riddance. I sure hate styrofoam. <laughs>